All right, inspired by one of my little hearts here, we're gonna kind of do a tray in these same kind of colors here. So the only one, shoot, the only one I'm missing is gold. Hmm, might have to mix some of that up. All right, I got my gold ready. Yay. All right, howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. We're doing a tray today. We're doing a dirty pour. Uh, I've already poured some of the uh, clear in here, so I just need to heat that up, flip that around super fast, and get on to business. Because I got a bunch of colors here. Uh, I did a, a series of videos on some ornaments with resin. And the color combination turned out so nice. Um, and I had some glitter I was going to put in them and just decided not to. And then the resin time got away from me and had to uh, hustle a bit. Okay, look at this. I'm going to use my hands. It's moving hardly too slow or I'm in too impatient today. Probably the second part. All right. So, um, since I ran out of time using the glitter, I ended up putting it into one of my heart molds. Well, glitter naturally, you know, sinks, and I was kind of expecting it to, to sink in the heart mold and possibly take over the entire heart mold. Um, and it didn't, so I was ecstatic with the results. Um, and it kind of reminded me of a Mexican opal which has that fiery kind of look to it. And I thought that I would give that a try. And I put entirely too much resin in here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a common thing I'll do is put it back into the cup since it's just clear resin and I can use that for another project. Okay, now that I got a skin coat on that, and heat it up, get rid of the bubbles. side I will go and I hit that afterwards because it's inevitable if you get on the side you'll almost always transfer it somewhere else okay so let me set this up do some pouring in people like seeing the colors going in so I'm gonna do that all right, let's see now. Now I've got my colors laid out kind of in the order that I'm going to put them in. But I'm going to transfer them up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. So here's the glitter that I used, which I believe is called Fire and Ice by Color Obsession. Very pretty. It looks very um, magical. I don't know. The words aren't coming today. <laughs> okay. So, I usually get started with white. So, I'm going to just go ahead and do what I do normally. And I've got a chameleon in here. This is, um, I think it's called Bad Apple. Which I think is a green-blue shift. And then, let's see, I changed my mind already. I'll have a picture at the end of the video of the colors I use. And I'm going to put a fair amount, because I think I'm going to do one layer of colors in my cup today. This is Mermaid, this is Larez. gorgeous color. This is either a violet or plum by uh, Color Passion. One of my favorite colors. 
This is a deep purple by Just Resin. A nice black, I guess kind of a black purple with a shimmer to it. And then this is black. And I'm going to add a fair amount of, hmm, what am I going to add next? You know what? I'm going to put a little gold in here. Just kind of give it a sprinkling. All right, this is some of that chameleon. Oh, and I got another fly in the studio. I think I'm always saying that. I got a fly in the studio. Of course, I guess when you have horses, kind of got to expect that. All right, so there's a fair amount of white there. Get fly. Oh, great. It's right next to my tray. See the culprit right there? It's right, right, right there. All right. I'm going to see if I can get him. Never mind. He flew off. I guess flies kind of do that. <laughs> All right. I think that's enough color. Hmm. Am I fibbing? Yep, I'm fibbing already. A little bit more mermaid to that. A little bit more of the sea foam. A little bit of the bad apple. Now, I'm going to do two dirty pours. This one's in this particular ver video, and I'm going to do another video with the similar colors, but I'm going to put the glitter in the dirty pour and you guys are going to get to see how it behaves inside in the dirty pour because it moves around really different let's see so i've got some resin on my fingers want to clean off my fingers real good okay because i know that's exciting just staring at a cup there all right here we go so what I'm going to do here is do my normal, gosh, that's pretty right there, pour. And then just before I tilt it, I'm going to put some um, glitter in there. Actually, I'm fibbing. That was a pretty good amount of resin, and that is definitely going to transfer all over the place. So, wipe that off quickly. So, you get to see what it's like to mess around with glitter both in a tilt way as well as uh, within the pour. So I'm hoping it'll incorporate a little bit, but not do too much dragging of the colors. Because sometimes you can get little streaks, like um, Michaels will do these little streaks. And it's also a little heavier, so it doesn't want to tilt as much. So I'm trying to slow down a little bit. Look at that. That's cool. Let's 
see if I can get it to stay. I don't know how I can do that. Let's see. Maybe I can get it to just kiss the sides a little bit. All right, so everything has made contact, and I'm going to bring this back in. Hopefully, I didn't lose those cells there. That was looking pretty cool. That's ridiculous. That's wild. Okay. That looks very different from the other piece. Very different. Not sure I'm liking this area here. I really like this and how this is flowing in here. All right, fly, you can get. We're gonna have words in a minute. Let's see. So I can get this mermaid to save the day. Plum that's in the background will create reactions in cells. It might pick up some of that going on here. We'll have to see. There's a lot going on in this piece. See if we can. And this is picking up around some of the textures of the uh, the glitter. You can see it going around. I think I'm going to stop here and let this settle out. And this might need a really nice, clean, uh, like a delicate second coat to kind of incorporate everything together. But let me bring you in for a close-up on this guy. Let's see. Hang on. I can do an angle here so that you can see all the texture from the glitter and that's what creates that drag so it's really tricky to do a dirty pour with glitter in it I'm gonna zoom in so probably a lot easier on small scale there's a lot of pretty going on in here. But the whole piece isn't tied in together, so still needs some work. But I like this purple area and the sparkles that are working into those purple cells. Very pretty. And then this is real fun. And I think that's where the chameleon ended up. It's a little busy right here, but that's okay. This could be what I call a really good first layer. And it's got some promise. It's a challenge, but it's got some promise. It's kind of look like 
cloud cells. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna put this guy up to cure and I'm gonna do a second video with a second coat on this guy. There you go. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video, check the description below for links to Artist Till Death, because that's where I get all my colors from, uh, my Etsy store, as well as any supplies I use. There you go.